you are Michael Smith. Uh, uh, Bennett, uh, John Bennett. Come with me, please, Mr. Bennett. John Bennett. Mr. Thompson. Possibly. Well, not bad, thanks. <laughs> you choose to misinterpret me. I'm sorry. I'll try again. Well. Oh, I see. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm here for the interview. Indeed. And who informed you about this so-called interview? Uh, well, your, your secretary. Miss McCready? Yes, uh, if that's her name. Well, I can assure you it is. I pride myself on knowing the names of all my staff. It's basic man management. Although Miss McCready is, as far as I'm aware, a woman. Uh, yes. She may wear trousers on occasion, Weekends, that sort of thing, but she is indisputably a, a woman. Absolutely. Morning. Morning. So, Miss McCready rang you and called you in for an interview? Yes. Interesting. We need Bennett. Verification. Not to say justification. I can hardly be expected to take your word, a man I've never met before, for, and I make no apology for the word, this intrusion. Uh, uh, look here, Mr. Thompson. Oh, don't take that tone with me, Bennett. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> These are murky waters, Bennett, and we need to clarify them. You agree? Yes, uh, uh, but good. Door. I'm sorry? Door. Sit. Sorry. Sorry. I don't fidget. No time for that sort of thing. Now, Miss McCready, this chap here says he's bent. He is on my list, Mr. Jump. Uh, hang on, I, I... I'm talking to Miss McCready. Murky waters, Miss McCready. Oh, dear. Oh, as you say, dear. Anyhow, this chap here, Bennett, says you, Miss McCready, told him, Bennett again, that I, Jump, wanted to interview him. You follow that? Perfectly, Mr. Jump. You see the colour of the people I employ, Bennett? Top draw. Quality all the way. That's what we want. I have had no contact with Mr. Bennett before today. Letter? No. Telephone? No. Email? Not even email. Water's murkier than ever, then. It appears so. Uh, but hang on, 
de a deplorable phrase, and the second time that you've used it, I hope there won't be a third. But, I mean, you did. Did what, Mr. Ben? Talk to me, uh, on the phone, three days ago. Uh, you gave me a time for the interview. You did. I'm very sorry, Mr. Bennett, but I have no recollection of any such call. Oh, this is absurd. Steady on, Bennett. Miss McCready is a lady of the utmost probity, of unimpeachable integrity. I'm sure she is. Uh... Say that, Bennett. You say that having launched a, a totally unwarranted Verbal assault upon a blameless oh, woman. I, I simply said that the, the situation was absurd. With, Quite. With the barely concealed implication that you regarded Miss McCready herself as absurd. That I, I am profoundly shocked. No. No. We did talk. On the phone. Three days ago. Uh, you gave me a time for the interview. Uh, today at ten o'clock. I'm on your list. She's mistaken. Mistaken? Mistaken? Miss McCready, have you ever been mistaken? I believe not, Mr. Chubb. There. You see, it saddens me, Bennett, to see a young man of outwardly respectable appearance Launch such a vicious assault on a member of the fairer sex. Have you no shame, boy? Are you so lost to the most basic principles of civilised behaviour? I, I tremble for the future of our society. Yes, tremble! One day, Bennett, if you are favoured by fortune and mend your manners, you will find yourself behind a desk such as this and guide the fortunes of a great business empire. Have you the faintest conception of what that means? The crushing burden of responsibility? The hundreds, yes, hundreds of decisions you must make every day? Decisions that affect the lives of thousands, yes, thousands of people. The never-ending stream of reports and surveys and contracts and briefing papers and charity appeals that stream across this desk. God alone knows I try. I struggle on. I, I battle against the stream. I, I try to stem the tide. You will allow me that, Miss McCready, that I, I, I struggle against the street, I, I try to stem the tide. You do, Mr. Ch You do. And we love and admire you for it. If you ever command the respect of one tenth of the staff that I receive from Miss McCready, you will be a fortunate man, Bennett. No, I will go further. You will be blessed. Is, is that, I mean, um, the interview? That's all? Thank you for seeing me. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be off. <laughs> you, you will let me know. Well, I, I can see you're busy. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see myself out.
Wonderful. As always. We better go. We might start asking questions. We don't have a Mr. Jupp here. But I've just been interviewed by Miss. seeing Mr. Thompson. He's waiting and you're late. Thank you, Mac. Coffee? Uh, indeed. With cream? Of course, Jeffy. You deserve cream. How good you are to me, Mac. And then, back to the park. Oh, I love the park. <laughs> Roses will bloom when the owl hoots twice. Sorry? The roses will bloom when the owl hoots twice. Would rise. Wrong. What? Wrong. Listen carefully. The roses will bloom when the owl hoots twice. I see. The roses will bloom... When the owl hoots twice. And you say... What? No. Good heavens, man. I, I can't give you the response. It's a nonsense of the whole procedure. Look, I don't know what the hell You've you're talking about. You've forgotten, haven't you? Forgotten what? Don't worry. It happens. I shouldn't do this, but I'll give you the first word. Just don't tell H. Uh, look, you've got the wrong man. I'm, I I'm... don't think so. No. You're the right man, believe me. Now. When. What? You keep saying what? There is no what. Forget what. When? When? Concentrate. When what? D no. All right. Two words. Now, when the... T come on, think, man. Please stay where you are. Problem, Mr. Jupp? I'm afraid so, Miss McCready. Our friend has failed to give the correct response. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. How do we know you are who you think you are? Look, I don't know who the hell you think I am, but whoever that is, I'm not him, okay? Please, look, we'll be under surveillance. Surveillance? By who? Whom is the generally accepted usage? Oh, is it? Look, I don't know what game you two are trying to play, but whatever it is, I've had enough. And I've a damn good mind to report you two to the police! Stop! Sit. Down. That was a request. But as your superior officer, I could have made it an order. What the fuck? How dare you! I will not tolerate the use of such language in front of a lady. Absolutely disgraceful. You will apologise to Miss McCready immediately. I'm sorry. 
again. I'm sorry. Really, I'm sorry. Okay, now, Miss McCready, I trust you can find it within yourself to forgive that deplorable lapse. Of course, Mr. Jump. It is already forgotten. Yours is a truly noble nature, dear lady. I fear for the future of the service if such behaviour were tolerated and not condemned. Look, now, yeah. you've failed to give the password. Regrettable, but not irretrievable. Very well, we will press on. We will accept your bona fides in good faith. We will take that risk. You have the plans. What? Oh dear, not what again? The plans. Hand them over. Oh, for Christ's sake! Look! Sandwich, drink, tissues, pen, book, train timetable, plans. Well, no, but hang on. Why? Jove. Miss McCready. Uh, Mr. Chop, I, I believe these are the plans for Jay's HQ. We suspected as much. No, they're not. They're house plans. I'm a draftsman, for God's sake. Well done. You may be shaky on passwords, but you're holding to your cover story. But there's no need, my dear chap. I believe these came from... Oh, Mr. Jupp, this was his brief, you may remember. Very probable, Miss McCready. Um, he was working with uh, Kay, was he not? Until last week, he went on extended leave and passed the J-file across to E. E! Of course. Right as always, Miss McCready. I see. Very funny. J and O and K and E. I get it. So, so where's the camera? Camera? Well, yes, this is one of those reality TV things, isn't it? You know, you people are a bloody menace. Go and play your games with someone else. But my dear fellow, you are quite confusing us. You fit exactly the description of the man we were instructed to meet by H himself. You, you have the plans. Or should I say, we now have the plans. Mission accomplished. No, it isn't. Give them back. Why would I do that? Because they're my plans. Uh, tell me, is this the only copy? No, of course it isn't. Come on. But this is most alarming, Mr. Chubb. I would go further, Miss McCready. It could be catastrophic, and, and that's not a word I use lightly. No, indeed. We must inform H immediately if there are other copies. Lives will be in jeopardy, Miss Shall McCready. I? Uh, uh, radio silence, my dear lady. Uh, the trees have ears. Of course. No, no time to waste. My dear fellow, you handed over the plans. Well done. Although I confess to some confusion as to why you are now demanding them back, I fear we must decline your request for the present. Perhaps H can enlighten us. We will overlook your temporary lapse with the password. It was, by the way, when the frog croaks, the snake will strike. I see. You remember now. Um, Train your memory, my dear fellow, and your future in the service will be a bright one. Come on, Miss McCready. A close run thing, Mac. But how well you handled it, Juppie. Thank you, my dear. But without you... Dear Juppie. Coffee? Confusion. And misrule. 